your definitely praised as one of the original cyberpunk writers. Is that a choice you've made consciously, or that category kind of come about just how you naturally write? No, well, of course, the word was not extent when we st I started writing, and mm -hmm. when Gibson and, and Sterling started writing, um, it just cropped up in someone's short story. And then uh, Gardner Dozois chose it. He was a very uh, influential writer and editor. Gardner Dozois passed away. Uh, but he uh, uh, chose it to, to name this new phenomenon, this uh, kind of uh, blending of the street and, and uh, the possibilities of higher technology, mm -hmm. the street-based use of technology. And, uh, and, and called it cyberpunk. Uh, and it caught on and we just went with it. Um, so, but I, it was just something that we did because it's when we looked around at the world, we, we thought, I think it's Gibson's phrase, uh, the street has its own uses for technology. And we thought, well, uh, you know, uh, they, is this all going to be all about technocratic power and corporate power or or will uh, ordinary people find a way to connect um, like in a site, perhaps in, in, a, in, a, in early stages of cyborgian fashion, um, for example, uh, with that technology and turn it to their own uses. Mm -hmm. And um, we said yes. And, and uh, we were also influenced by uh, noir Oh. films and you know um like um uh, uh, oh god you know humphrey bogart pictures and mm. and um and this the postman always rings twice for example uh we were influenced by the uh the darker detective writers like dashiell hammett um and by writers and some of the darker espionage writers and more literate ones like Jean Le Carre. Mm -hmm. All of us read those people. And so we were kind of looking for a way to take those streams in mm -hmm. and and wind them into science fiction in, in a little bit more of an adult way than mm -hmm. we'd seen before. Um, so um, it, just, it just felt right to us at that time. Everything converged. Uh, to, to make cyberpunk. Now cyberpunk, as people understand, as the average person understands it, they, uh, I mean, it's influenced by what we did, but it also has a life of its own um, in manga and anime right, and, yes. and films of different kinds, uh, cosplay even, I suppose. Yes. Uh, you, people have another idea of it. That, and um, ours was the more literate version, but back... Uh, Originally, um, you, you can probably find most of what you see in modern um, cyberpunk in uh, in what we did, and in people like Neil Stevenson, he took he did he does a very sophisticated version. So Stormland uh, is published by Blackstone Publishing, and it is available now. We will have links um, to purchase from our store. We will leave those at the description box um, to the video. So once again, thank you so much for taking time out of what I'm sure it was a very busy schedule to um, sit with us today and have this conversation. Glad to be here. <laughs>